and they're announcing the new move against Russia and the American patriots. It's not that Russia's perfect, it's not the American patriots are perfect. It's just that we are not part of the new world order. So they're coming after us. We're gonna come back and continue to break this down, ladies and gentlemen, but I hope we can get the word out and stop this. We stop the Syria. We're on the mark. And I know it to be the greatest truth I have ever discovered. Does that mean I'm infallible? No. But on my soul, and on everything I will ever be in my family name, I believe the globalists are seriously considering setting nuclear weapons off in this country and blaming it on foreign enemies and domestic enemies and doing a total sweep. I've told you this year after year, and you see them now pushing it and saying domestic groups are connected to the foreigners. Just as I told you, I know the enemy's mind. It's simple strategy. I would do the same thing if I was animated by their force. I am able, as anyone is that focuses and studies something long enough, to predict what they're going to do because I know them. And I watch their propaganda, and there are so many data points that I cannot even begin to tell you how much grave danger we're in. Now, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction as I perseverate. Quoting the physicist Einstein, Albert Einstein. But that goes back to even Newton, but Einstein repeated it in larger equations. But Newtonian physics are clear. And if there's any laws in this universe, at this level of consciousness, we know these are laws. And the fact that they're considering doing this and bringing in full martial law, that's their emergency backup. They don't want to do that. The fact that they're looking at this and now testing it with trial balloons, beta testing with the public, means they are in deep trouble on every single front. 99% of people in the FBI are not part of this. 99% of people in the CIA are not part of this. 99% of people in your local state police are not part of this. A lot of them may be part of other corruptions, but very few, I'd say 99.99999, are not involved in plans to set off thermal nuclear weapons in this country or an atomic bomb they built to make it look like it came from the Iranian mullahs or the Russians. I told you Stuxnet day one was the Israelis. Turned out it was. I've told you over and over again I told you Piers Morgan would get a once a month magazine show with famous people like Frost. That's what he got. How do I know this? Not because I'm even that smart. As a hunter, as a Jaeger, as a man, I can watch what different creatures, different animals, different people, different weather systems do. And they do the same thing over and over again in similar patterns. So I know what the enemy that I hunt does. I live studying the enemy. I am the enemy. I have studied the enemy so long, I am the enemy. You understand that? I am what I hunt. Call me the hunter, that's my name. And you too, ladies and gentlemen, can learn how the enemy operates. And let me tell you, if you learn how they operate, you're now going to be wearing the sunglasses, just like Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And they live, listener of the show. And he said, the real world's just like that movie. You put on the glasses, there ain't no going back. And what does Rowdy Piper have to do to his friend to make him put the glasses on? He's got to get in a serious battle with him, and both of them have to get hurt really bad before they learn the truth. And that's the analogy or the allegory of how you have to go through hell to learn things. Don't you wish you just put the glasses on or start eating concrete? Put these glasses on or you're going to start eating concrete. 
and I'm going to do this to you because I love you. You think it's fun to get up here and talk about these people that may set nukes off in the country. I'm only alive because my grandmother's praying for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm only alive because if they destroy me, it'll turn me into a martyr. But they'll probably figure something out. And that's why I get so upset and so angry when I'm on air, folks, because I literally realize I am putting myself in the arena with vicious, evil people. And my family is being put in the arena like chips all in on a poker table. And I don't like it, but I got to do it. And that's why the adrenaline starts flowing. The chills start going up down my spine because I see the enemy. I got the glasses on. And I just wish the public could see it for themselves. Our country has been captured. Our country has been overrun. Get the get that special report on the cops killing the killing the homeless guy ready for me. I, I'm gonna have to go to go to that for a while because it's so important. The full report's up on Infowars.com. And then I'll come back into all this with Greg Pallast and more. It, it it's just that. Everything is set up for them to stage stuff and pose as the saviors. And the nuke's the way to go to start the foreign war, cover up the derivative scam, and clamp down domestically. And I'm telling you, I know what they got in their hand. I know where the ace card's at. Because I saw them tip their hand earlier, and they got their finger on the ace card, looking me in the eyes, looking you in the eyes, getting ready to play it. They are really considering playing the ace of spades. It's the only god they need is stage terror. The only way you beat them is exposing their secret weapon, exposing their deuce ex, exposing their god of staged problem reaction solution Hegelian dialectic. <sighs> you got to be blind to not see open tyranny being set up around us in a criminal takeover of the republic. And the big story about these police that killed this poor man is that I had only seen Sunday when my buddy Shane Steiner sent me a clip of it, the Albuquerque News, where they start shooting him and then they cut right when they pull the trigger. I said to the guys yesterday before the show, I said, you know, I bet there's a raw version put out by, uh, you know, the court. They found it online, folks. And the story isn't that they shot the guy for no reason. He didn't have knives in his hands like they said. We blew up the video. It's that they flashbang him, let a dog attack him, he turns to run, and then they shoot him in the back, and you can hear him on the audio. I don't know how it translates over AM radio, but you can hear him going, I can't move. They've shot him right in the back. He's paralyzed. And then they start shooting him more and step on him and then put him in handcuffs as he dies, and they're clearly getting off on it. Like wolves, they've just taken down a bear. And it's just some homeless guy. Now they show up with, I mean, usually it's one cop with a homeless person and, or come on down here and you wait a few hours if they don't come down or whatever because you don't want to kill them. But they're hiring people. We know 10, 15, 20% of the military historically are psychopathic killers who want to get in because they want to kill people legally. Most to get in because of family reasons or because they're honorable. Because as men, they need to go out and be in combat because it's genetically there. They're very honorable, good people. But the police departments are recruiting people who, and this is what they want, who really want to hurt and kill people. I mean, I got to say the Austin Police Department, for all its problems, is not trying to recruit people that just want to kill people. And, you know, if you really want to kill people, why don't you be a man about it and go join the military and try to get into special forces and actually go fight real people that shoot back, not homeless people. It is the most dishonorable, weak thing to find some naked, homeless 14-year-old who clearly is, is autistic, looking at their hands, and you see these squad car videos where they beat them to death. Oh, you didn't follow my order. Taser you. Oh, you're flopping around. I'm going to beat you. I mean, who wants to beat an autistic person to death I, or throw someone out of a wheelchair, a, 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 an animal? That's it. And I want to explain something to the police. We're going to skip this network break and play this. I want to explain something to the police as they hear this. I'm playing this so you can kick these type of people out of your ranks so we can get rid of these bad department heads. Albuquerque's legendary for tasering women and the you know what and eight anal exams, you know, people at a traffic stop and torturing people to death. I mean, it's a very evil department. Boss Hog on steroids runs it. And we, you either change this and decide which side you're on or you discredit yourself, your family, prosperity. All this type of stuff... It's unnatural to let the system do things like this, and we will turn into a total tyranny under this, and then you will lose everything as well. 
So let's go to this report. We have the unedited audio and video. Warning, it, it is, it is, the dog is biting him after he's already been shot repeatedly with real bullets and beanbags. And, uh, I mean, and the cops are hyperventilating like they're actually scared. And it turns out this guy wasn't feared and didn't have any, you know, violent record or anything. And uh, it's just they went up there playing soldier. In fact, I, you know, I saw on my phone this morning, I, I, I screenshotted it. Uh, I saw on YouTube somebody explain it all absolutely perfectly off the video I put out last night on the nightly news. Let me see if I screenshot.